Technological advancements have brought us to where we are today. From the light bulb to the internet, our world has changed significantly in the past few hundred years. When we think about the future of our planet, our minds can manifest the most fantastic visions. On today's episode, we cover five technological breakthroughs that will change our world. Number 5. 3D Organ Printing 3D printing has revolutionized many industries, but perhaps none more promising than the field of medicine. The ability to print functional organs has the potential to save countless lives and transform the way we approach organ transplantation. The story of 3D printed organs begins with the development of 3D printing technology itself. 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, involves creating physical objects by laying down successive layers of material. This process allows for the creation of complex shapes and structures that would be difficult or impossible to produce using traditional manufacturing techniques. Researchers have made significant progress in developing 3D printed organs for a variety of applications. For example, scientists have used 3D printing to create functional blood vessels, kidneys, and even parts of the human heart. This research is best explained by the experts at the Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. So what we're really excited about is developing a technique to 3D print collagen. Uh, collagen is kind of an extremely desirable biomaterial to 3D print with because it makes up literally every single tissue in your body. What makes it so hard to 3D print, however, is that it starts out as a fluid. So if you try and print this in air, it just forms a puddle on your build platform. So developing a technique that prevents it from deforming, but also finding a way to initiate a pH change and to neutralize it in order to cause it to gel, as opposed to a thermoplastic which needs to be melted and cooled, which are easier to 3D print. So with those things combined, we've developed this entire uh, tissue engineering platform for regenerative medicine for anything like wound repair or any type of bioengineering, and it can all be implemented on a 3D printer that you can essentially buy for anything like a high school uh, for very low cost. So what we're really trying to accomplish with this paper is to really advance our fresh 3D bioprinting technology that we published a few years ago, taking it from something that can create really cool looking structures that are really complex and really trying to achieve things that have true function. We've taken clinical imaging data, things like MRI, and we've used that to help design different scaffolds that represent different parts of the heart, things like heart valves, blood vessels, even contractile beating ventricles. And we've used that together with collagen and human stem cell derived cardiomyocytes to start to build functional pieces of tissue that contract, valves that open and close, and really multi-scale blood vessels. You know, moving forward, what this means is that we now have a foundation and the ability to print functional parts of the heart so that we can think about starting to put those together to move beyond just tissues and start to achieve this reality of creating functional organs. There are currently more than 100,000 people waiting for an organ transplant in the United States alone, with a new person added every nine minutes to this list. With the new research and the advancements in this field, it could just be a matter of time before it is put into use, and this list is reduced significantly. Number 4. CRISPR, Gene Editing. CRISPR is a gene editing tool that can be used to make specific, targeted changes to the DNA of a genome. CRISPR has revolutionized the field of genetic engineering and has numerous potential applications in medicine, agriculture, and other areas. For example, it has been used to edit the genes of human cells in the lab, to correct genetic mutations that cause diseases, and to study the function of specific genes. Dr. Jennifer Doudna joins us to explain it in further detail. The thing that's amazing about, about science and about biology for me is that there's always more to be discovered. And, and every time we feel like we've figured something out, it seems to open up several more questions. Scientists have appreciated for a long time that, that once we understood the DNA sequence in cells, if we had a tool that would allow easy 
manipulation of that sequence, that that would be a very powerful kind of technology. CRISPR is a technology for changing the sequence of DNA in cells in a precise fashion to correct mutations that might otherwise cause disease. It's going to enable a lot of science to be done that was impossible to do in the past. So the way the CRISPR technology works is by the action of a protein called Cas9 that functions like a molecular scalpel for DNA. The CRISPR-Cas9 system has an amazing ability to recognize a particular DNA sequence in a cell that may be malfunctioning and then disable it by cutting the DNA. We call this gene editing, and we can use it to disable or repair a mutated part of the gene which may be causing disease. For Cas9 to find the malfunctioning DNA, we attach it to an RNA sequence that matches the DNA sequence we want to edit. Then we put this RNA-Cas9 combination into the cell it finds the mutant DNA and uses a chemical reaction to cut the DNA strand right at the spot where it's malfunctioning. After that, we can sometimes insert the correct version of the gene for the cell to work properly again. It's a very, a very exciting technology that's going to do a lot of good in human society and for human health. It stretches from human therapeutics to agricultural applications to thinking about how do we make better biofuels. These would be incredible uh, outcomes, I think, of using this kind of technology in the future. Number three, robotics. The future of robots is a fascinating topic that has the potential to significantly impact many aspects of our lives. As technology continues to advance, we are likely to see robots being used in a variety of new and innovative ways. Already, robots are being used in factories and on job sites to perform tasks that are too dangerous or repetitive for humans. Another potential use for robots in the future is in healthcare. Robots could be used to assist with tasks such as administering medication, taking vital signs, and even performing surgeries. This could help to reduce the workload on healthcare professionals and allow them to focus on more complex tasks, potentially improving the overall quality of care. Robots could also play a role in the future of city care. Autonomous vehicles like these are already being tested in preparation for release. There are also tests being done in the policing industry. Traffic stops can be very dangerous. Almost 5,000 officers a year are assaulted in the US and around 100 a year lose their lives. This robotic technology could reduce the harm and the loss of their lives by a great deal. At the Saxion University, in the Netherlands, Professor Dirk Beck is working with many scientific knowledge institutes and companies to research and develop many of these robots. Here is what he had to say about it. At Saxion University of Applied Science, we focus on developing innovative robotic solutions. We do that for scientific knowledge institutes to validate their scientific theories and for companies to bring their innovative ideas into life. Our research on robotics and embedded AI results into new proof-of-concepts and prototypes. So will robots revolutionize our society? Will they revolutionize industry, healthcare, and the way we live in our homes? Could it be the beginning of an economic downfall as we lose all of our jobs that we work so hard to obtain? Or could it free up humanity's time to learn new skills and create new wonderful art, literature, music, and more? Number 2. Artificial Intelligence Artificial intelligence, or AI, has the potential to fundamentally transform our world in a number of ways. When people think of AI, robots come to mind instantly. However, it goes much further than robots, and you most likely use it in your everyday life. 
even some AI influencers have taken to social media. With CGI-style AI, like Michaela, taking Instagram by storm. Showing off her lavish and materialistic lifestyle. As a successful influencer, you can already see how this technology has been implanted into our lives. It will soon be hard to tell what is real, and what is not. From self-driving cars, to more efficient manufacturing, and improved agricultural productivity. AI, is already beginning to have a significant impact on a wide range of industries. It could have a particularly significant impact in the field of transportation. Self-driving vehicles, could revolutionize the way we move around our cities and communities. Potentially reducing traffic accidents and congestion, and increasing mobility for those who are unable to drive. It could also have a major impact on healthcare, with the potential to revolutionize the way we diagnose and treat diseases. Similarly, in agriculture, artificial intelligence, could be used to optimize crop yields, reduce the use of resources such as water and pesticides, and improve food safety. However, the adoption of this technology, also raises important ethical and social questions. Just as discussed in the last segment, the increasing use of robotics and AI in the workforce, could lead to job displacement, or so-called technological unemployment. Some people like Elon Musk, who uses a wide range of AI in all of his companies, has his own warnings and concerns. Are robots going to take our jobs, everybody's jobs in the future? Or how, how much do you see artificial intelligence coming into the, the workplace? Um, well, first of all, I, I think on the artificial intelligence front, um, you know, I, I have exposure to the very, the very most cutting edge um, AI. Um, uh, and I think people should be really concerned about it. Um, I keep so sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react, you know, because it seems so ethereal. Um, and um, I think we should be really concerned about AI. And I think we should. This is, AI is a rare case where I think we need to be proactive in regulation instead of reactive. Um, because I think by the time we are reactive in AI regulation, it's too late. Overall, the impact of AI on our world is likely to be significant and far-reaching. It has the potential to revolutionize the way we live and work. However, it is important that we approach its development and deployment with care and consideration. Number 1. Nuclear Fusion On December 5, 2022, scientists at the U.S. National Ignition Facility, in California, made a major breakthrough. For the first time in history, they have achieved the phenomenon known as fusion ignition. This breakthrough will eventually change our world and stop our fossil fuel dependency. Nuclear fusion, has the potential to provide a virtually limitless source of clean, safe, and low-carbon energy. If this technology was perfected, we would literally be harnessing the power of the sun. Our world would change significantly, and humanity would take its next large leap, in the advancement of our civilization. Although this technology has many leaps and bounds to overcome, another breakthrough could mean the success of this research and unlimited power for our planet. Once perfected, we would possibly adapt fusion ignition for space travel, reaching speeds and distances we have only dreamed of. And perhaps take this technology with us to begin a new civilization on a distant world. Possibly as time goes on, our planet can begin to heal, and we can continue to thrive. I hope you have enjoyed this episode.
Do you think these technologies will revolutionize our world? I would love to hear what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe for more content just like this.